Hi guys, welcome back to Decorating Happily Ever After. I'm Jeffrey Kevin. If you're like me, you've been doing a lot of gardening outside. So today, I want to show you one of my flower beds. These are limelight hydrangeas. I added these this year. They're starting to bloom. They start out kind of a creamy white and they turn to a, a pretty chartreuse and then in the fall they're supposed to go to a pink. My hostas have got some the purple blooms on them. I had knockout roses in this bed, guys. They were supposed to be carefree. You don't have to spray them. You don't, they don't get disease. And they were for about three years until we got a blight here in the south. I'm in Tennessee. And I lost about 40 of them. Had to dig them all up. So after getting rid of those, this year has kind of been the year of hydrangeas. I've been planting all hydrangeas in place of where the roses were. So. There used to be roses here that I've pulled up and put these limelights in their place. I wish this camilla bush was bloomed, guys. It is beautiful. It was here when we bought the house and I've trimmed it up sort of in a topiary fashion, but when we first bought the house, we were actually going to cut it down because it was so close to the driveway. And our next door neighbor, who's deceased now, she came over and said not to cut it down, that if we ever saw it bloom, that we would never cut it down. And of course it blooms, uh, the camellias bloom in usually January, February, somewhere around there. And they're a bright fuchsia, just like heavy, big roses and this whole bush turns fuchsia color and it is beautiful. But I'm afraid this year wasn't a great year. We had a strange winter. It was cold, then it was warm, then it was cold, then it was warm and I think he got confused and this is the first year the blooms didn't seem to do all that well. They kept opening up and then we get the cold frost and they would freeze again. But hopefully in the future I can feature the blooms on some of my tables. I have a brick edge uh, going down the side. I think brick, the old brick, kind of adds a cottage feel uh, to a garden. It is a bit of trouble. The concrete edge holds it in place here pretty well. But from time to time, people, especially contractors, uh, run into my brick and then I have to rearrange it. And every once in a while it will settle and I have to straighten them out a bit. And occasionally in a really cold winter, I'll have one or two that will, will burst and have to pull those out and replace those. My hostas have been here for several years and to be honest, I really don't remember planting them in this fashion. It's just kind of like they, I look up and I think was a hosta there and another hosta comes and so anyway, they've sort of to me, they kind of look like flowing water. They just kind of flow around the bed. And I usually let them bloom for a little while, and then once the blooms start looking shaggy, I clip them off. I've got one there in the back that I uh, divided. I divided a few in the spring, and they're still a little bit grumpy looking, but they'll perk up next year. And this is a new hydrangea that I added this year. I think they're called Neko. Uh, this one is sort of a, a bluish, um, bluish purple shade. I've added these ornamental grasses this year. 
I don't know the name of them because I divided them from some that someone gave me, but I think they add a nice touch with the bright chartreuse green coloring against the mulch. And we are on the north side of the house. And uh, so it can be a little bit dark at times, and so that adds some extra color. I've got uh, the crepe myrtles. These I trimmed back recently. I really kind of waited late to trim them. Um, so the hydrangeas are not too happy about that, but uh, I like to keep them sort of in a tall manner with the little round puffs at the top. I, as they say, I crepe murdered these a while back. <laughs> but they'll put on a nice canopy here in another month or so and the hydrangeas will be happy again. And these are some that I've had for a few years now. They are in the pinks. They kind of range from the pink to lavender to pale blue. And I featured these on some of my tables. My lavender blue table is one that I featured these on. I love hydrangeas, guys. I think they're so pretty. And relatively carefree. Most people probably wouldn't put crepe myrtles quite this close to the house, but here at the back, um, our house is nearly three stories tall, and so I wanted something that would give me height and vertical interest, and so I put the crepe myrtles in the back, and then we've got some more of the green grasses. Like I said, in the back corners, they add a little touch of chartreuse. The hostas are spilling out here. Guys, in the future, I'll show you in the backyard, we have sort of what I call a courtyard. It's kind of like an English courtyard in a way, and or we call it our park. And I'll show you that in some upcoming videos. Right now I'm rebuilding a pergola and so that's going to take me another couple of weeks to complete. But when I get that done, I'll do a video of my secret garden in the back. And here are my cute little pink Neko hydrangeas that I added this year. They're my babies. I think they are so pretty with their big old-fashioned blooms. I hope they'll be this pretty next year. Well, I have to see. They've really bloomed out pretty. over them. I've got a beautiful hydrangea tree. This one is called Phantom. It has these white blooms. It's a pinnacle hydrangea. Now I'm not going to leave it here guys. I just set it here today. I'm actually looking for a pot uh, to put this in and I'm going to put it in the back garden. And eventually it'll probably get planted in the ground, but for now, it's residing here at the end of this flower bed.
if you guys have any suggestions of things you uh, think might look nice added into this bed, just let me know. I'm always looking to add more things. I like the bed to be really full. Maybe some things in between the grasses. I'm in Tennessee, so I'm here in the south. I'm not sure what zone that I'm in, but I would like to add a few more things. I've tried lilies on this side of the house, but there's not quite enough sunlight and they didn't do too well. But I would like to add some other medium to small blooming things maybe to this bed. leave me a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe to my channel, Decorating Happily Ever After, and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a video. I'm Jeffrey Kevin, hoping that you decorate happily ever after. Bye-bye now.